Welcome back to a brand new Big Cherry Retro React here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Hello, booty booties. <laughs> so, you guys, sorry, my brain is so like dead from that uh, very emotionally taxing video that we did earlier for you guys it'll be yesterday for the season finale of a thousand pound sisters it was a very emotional one just wanted to hop in here and thank andrea moore 367 thank you so much hon so for today's video uh we are going to be taking a look at two life with amber lens i know i know stick through it with me you guys <laughs> i can't do this alone and also a weigh-in so you just stick around till the end we want to know how much she gained right but yeah i don't want to waste too much time guys hope you're having a great start to your day hi everyone just woke up eight now i'm playing ruby cube God, what a great start to a wonderfully productive day, huh, Amber? Did I say that right? Let me cue. Again. Again. Yep. No, I've been really enjoying this game, so we will yeah, play. Yeah, it seems it, girl. It seems that you enjoy the game so much you can't go look for a job. Kind of. Quite frequently, which is shocking because my girlfriend normally won't play games with me this much why she sounds so like hesitant about saying it she plays games with you every fucking day dog so what's that mean you're forcing her to play them with you wait did that make sense i, I worded that so wrong okay she, this isn't like her favorite game so it's kind of like mad to her and i'm shocked that she's been playing with me like every single day lately so that's nice of her oh and i just found out today not a like Thanks, Crystal, or nothing. Just, that's nice of her. That we aren't going grocery shopping tomorrow. We're, um, uh, Crystal's- Breaking news, guys. Breaking fucking news. In Amber Lynn's world, they're not going grocery shopping tomorrow. Mom's just going tonight without us. Yeah, she wants to save some fucking money, dog. Which I do not like because I like to choose. Dude, it's not your money. It's not your fucking house. And it's sure as fuck not your family. You have zero right to complain and bitch and moan about what they spend their money on to feed their family. Understand that, girl? Use my own food and stuff, but. Then use your own money. Go get a fucking job and use your own damn money. Oh, she's going to get me. I'm not in the mood today. <laughs> I mean, oh well. Yeah, oh well. Go get a fucking job, buy your own damn food. And plus, I like to help, like, with groceries. And okay, yeah, okay. Stuff, but that's all right. And then waddle your ass out to the car and grab the bags when she gets home. Anyways. Amber's not going to do that though, is she? So we're going to play Rummy Cube and then I have a little video I want to film that I'm going to post today, I think. I'm sorry. I'm just like, it's not that it put me in a bad mood earlier. It's just going from like the sincerity of the Slaytons to this bullshit. And Tammy was in her spot, you know, and she fully like turned it around. Like, I just, I don't have sympathy for this girl. And I swear to God, if she comes on tonight or whatever and does some big emotional thing about the episode, I'm probably going to lose my shit. But we'll wait and see for that. Besides this one, and um, we'll see how that goes. And um... She's going to be so fucking pissed that she was not able to pick out her junk food that she wanted. Um... Crystal, is there anything else we need to add? She just shook her head. Are you okay? How are you feeling today? Tired. She's tired. Well, yeah, y'all don't do jack shit all day long, okay? I can imagine you're probably tired. You don't do a fucking thing. And I... I have more leniency with Crystal because it seems like she has a legit reason why she doesn't work. Amber's just lazy. 
We had our alarm set for a certain time, but her, we. her mom texted us both and I heard them. So I must have been in like a faint sleep or something. So it like jolted us awake and I hate when that happens because then I can't really fall back asleep and I always feel so... So it woke you up and you probably had to then go and wake Crystal up, right? Tired. But anyways, I'm gonna... Why is it always we? We were woken up. Like, mm, something tells me... Stop rambling and, um... Something tells me if Amberlynn is woken up, everyone else needs to be up too. Catch up with you guys later. Amberlynn's just loving it because she's winning. I hear a noise. A very strange noise. Let's see what it is. We're a walk in. Very slowly. Sorry, how long was that fucking person? Monkey. There? I just sneezed. Thank Monkey, you, what is this? <clears throat> this is a cat toy. And you broke it. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Monkey, no, boy. Let me just take that from you. And all the bad pieces. Monk, look how sad he is. Nose. Nose. Why? Why? Watch out. Watch out. I'll be honest, I'm surprised she didn't just leave it there for it to chew on it. Watch out. Monk. That's bad. To everyone, I'm sorry. Look, now he wants this. You can't have this. Well, duh, of course he wants it, dog. You just took it from him. You messed it all up. You messed it all up, Monk. I have been so horrible with vlogging today. I am so sorry, everybody. Well, dude, when you don't get up or fucking do anything all day, like, of course you're going to be bad at vlogging. But, um, right now I'm just about to have some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Just what you need. Don't tell anybody. And, uh, watch some Bold and the Beautiful. I cannot wait for that weigh-in. I cannot wait for it. Oh, she's going to be fucked up. Currently downloading music. Oh. Why don't you download a fucking job application? A resume, like, a resume layout something, dog. Like, let's do something. <laughs> yeah. My girlfriend's mom came home late tonight because she had to go shopping. She had an appointment, this and that, yada, yada. And, um... She didn't get us anything, but she got herself some McDonald's. And She's pissed. She's pissed. And she comes home with a Happy Meal, and she asked me, do you want these mini apple pieces? And I look at her like she's crazy. Yeah, you probably looked at her like she you were offended. Like, bitch, are you fucking kidding? No, I don't want your apple. Oh, my God. Dude, for such a freeloading bitch, she sure does have the fucking audacity. And then, she shows this to Crystal and goes, do you want a Furby? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but look at it, it's Crystal's favorite color, so that's cool. And Crystal- She's so pissed, she didn't get the McDonald's, dude. <laughs> I don't really like stuff like this, so. That's cool. Just figured I'd show you. Yeah, because you got nothing else to show and you're pissed. Such a cutie thing, right? Don't you just wish you had this? Ew, its eyes move. Ew, its eyes are moving. Its eyes are literally beads, dude. They can't really see it, but I sure can. Anyways, so, just thought I'd share that random little tidbit. I'm a horrible, horrible...
horrible vlogger. And a horrible human being, but... Oh. Yep. Fucking disgusting. You can almost see, like, the fake joy rush out of her eyes as soon as she's like, okay, we're done. My name is Furby Mc... 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 Nugget. Okay. So, I'm, like, always wanting to download... I thought she was gonna say, I'm always wanting to eat. ...new music to my iTunes to put on my iPod because... But you're broke. Because I love music. Dude, this is someone in their mid-twenties. Their mid-twenties. And they are freeloading off of this person like they're in middle school. So, if you guys have any recommendations, put them down in the comments below. And I will check them out, and if I like it, I'll let you know, and if I don't, I'll let you know nicely. Tomorrow, me and my girlfriend have to wake up and clean. I mean, this house is already clean. If you saw it, you'd be like, clean what? Honestly, that's just what you'd say. Uh, you probably need to clean your fucking room, or clean yourself. Yeah, maybe there's a dog toy here and there, but honestly, you'd say, clean what? But we have to vacuum, and... So it's not clean then. Just clean our bathroom and stuff like that because tomorrow Crystal's parents are having people over for like a New Year's party get together. Type. Just what she needs. Going to be more food. A deal. And so we have to have the house look decent, right? No. But yeah. So that's that. She's <laughs> <Ew>. so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, really? I love you, babe. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Crystal, stop trying to fill me up. Fill me up. What the fuck? I legit gently, like just gently watch. Hi, Crystal. And she'll be like, ow. Girl, I, it's probably not gentle. It's probably not. You're probably actually hitting her. I'm not do it gently, but I'm <laughs> yeah. What you wanna say. So I'm gonna end my vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, as I enjoyed making it. Um. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And if you aren't smiling, smile. Bye brown intensifies oh my god i just want to get to the way in you guys i really do i don't give a shit about this stuff i want to get to the way in the juicy bits hello everybody hey amber oh did you actually shower i just got out of that shower wow that's why my hair is looking like this um thank you girl thank you oh, well i mean Crystal's parents should be thanking you. Now their house will smell somewhat regular. It won't smell like your decaying body. Yeah. So. And not like that sweet cherry uh, perfume that we talked about the other night on live, guys. Like an actual decaying body. Today is New Year's Eve. Crazy, right? So tomorrow is 2014 and I'm like... You're scared probably because you were like, fuck, I said I was going to start my diet then. So shocked. 2013 went by so quickly. Like, Well, when you're not doing jack shit, dog. <laughs> like, I don't even... <laughs> I feel like... You spent a year, and probably then some, you've probably been doing this for a couple years now, doing nothing. Doing nothing, dog. Like, what the fuck? Just yesterday, it was 2012 and 2011. Like, I just don't understand how- And you're just wasting time. This time is going by so quickly. It is insane to me. And in a blink of an eye, you're 33 and much farther off than you were in these videos, which is hard to comprehend. But you showed us exactly how. I just don't- get it 
and it's kind of frustrating in a way because it's like well when you fuck around and waste your life i'm not gonna put it lightly she's wasted her fucking life and she can say oh well it's because i was morbidly obese you decide to let it get to that point when time goes by fast that means you just get older faster and opportunities pass you by and stuff like that so it's kind of sad but anyways let's look on the bright side and not think like that <laughs> well maybe you should start thinking like that girl maybe you should get like a dose of reality okay because as much as i dislike her i don't want to see what happened to caleb happen to her i would love it if she could t change her life around for herself dude like fuck all for any of us do it for yourself amber Ugh. But truly, I don't even think she could do it if she was in an inpatient facility. I don't. Now that we've seen a little bit more how those inpatient facilities work and how kind of lenient they can be, I don't think she's going to get any better. So I just got out of the shower. I did some cleaning. Now we have to get ready for our party slash get together for tonight. Um... Oh, why are you going to do a big dramatic makeup look? Oh, you're going to bring the eyeliner out to here, aren't you? Oh, crazy girl. I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm going to do my makeup and choose out my accessories for today. I'm just wearing the shirt. It's going to be the ugliest fucking necklace and ring and earrings combo that she has. Oh, that would be wetness from my hair. I don't dry my hair at all. I let it natural dry because I feel like that is the best way to do it anyways um but yeah normally i wear like black accessories and silver accessories with this but i think i'm gonna go for white and silver this time anyways wow. i'm sure you guys don't care but i like to exactly. i love jewelry and i tend to talk about it a lot if you loved jewelry you would actually try to like balance your time getting nicer pieces and things are actually tasteful. Half the shit you own you don't even wear. It's because you buy it just to buy it. And then you end up not liking it. Anyways. So right now. I'm gonna. I'm watching Monkey while my girlfriend's mom wraps some gifts for her friends. Because he is acting like a hellion today. And um. Well that's what's going to happen when dogs have no structure. Or you know like upkeep. Or anything. I'm gonna do my hair, makeup, da da da. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Listen to Big Jet Plane. I actually like it. You should sh suggest a song every day, lol. Every day? Wow, that's pretty creative and such a good idea. Why does she sound so fucking corny? I'm like, she ain't gonna fucking do that. Back. No. Um, last night when my aunt watched my December 2000 favorites video, she saw the song I put and she actually liked it. Yay! <laughs> this is the aunt that stopped talking to her. But that's what that text was and she wants me to recommend a song every single day. And I thought that was like so creative. And How girl? How is recommending a song every day creative? How's that such a creative idea? I was just like, oh my god. Maybe if you like did a drawing how the song makes you feel or actually talk about it in any type of way, but you don't. It's brilliant. I love getting suggestions and ideas from you guys. You got it from your aunt, not from us. Um, so I loved her suggestion. Like, it's so, like, I would have never thought of that, like... It's weird, <laughs> but, um... Yeah, because you don't fucking think, dude. Um, it's the most brain-dead fucking idea, and you're like, oh, that's so creative. Never would have thought of that. I think coming up with a song to show you guys every single day... Too much work. It's too hard for her. Honestly, it will be hard for me, I feel like. Um, But I can suggest a song randomly maybe like four times a week one dude <laughs> she's so fucking annoying we're probably never going to hear this ever again i'm a week three times a week like i'll just do it completely randomly when you guys 
don't expect it um because i feel like doing it every single day i'll start running out of songs eventually and i'm like i feel kind of like i don't know that's just the best way to describe it but i love suggesting music i love music my music she loves suggesting music because she likes people taking her recommendations for things taste is very very broad i am not picky i feel like good music needs to be known good music needs to be heard and i feel like i don't trust that good music is coming through those headphones girl i'd love to share that with you guys so like i guarantee you her taste and no shade to it no shade i love like basic stuff also but like her taste is definitely just top 40. um when i do do this i'm not gonna just do favorite songs I think I'm also going to do songs that I'm just meh about, and I kind of want to know what you guys think, or songs that... It's because she doesn't have favorites. I'm kind of like, okay, I really don't like this. What do you guys think? Like, songs like that. And obviously songs that are my favorite or my top songs and on my iTunes and stuff like that. So I just wanted to let you guys know, and thank you, Auntie, for the suggestion because... Shut up. Can we just skip? Like, can we skip? It's brilliant. <laughs> So, Crystal is making these for tonight. It is a, uh, what is this called? A crescent roll? Mm -hmm. Just a normal crescent roll. See, croissants. And she wraps in those little pepperoni things. And uh, how many do you put? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It, it's probably a nice little snack. I think there's probably a neater way of going about this, Crystal, but. In each one? She puts in like five pepperonis, <laughs> all the stuff, but, um, dude, yeah, her dad thought of this one day and now her, you know, what's really good guys, take some of that same puff pastry. You could use the rolls or the crescents. Doesn't matter. Take a little bit of, uh, I would say smoked Gouda. Take some smoked Gouda, a little slice of that in there with a little bit of Capricola, and then put a little bit of hot sauce on it. Fold it up, bake it. So good. Friend, I really like it, and um, a family friend likes it a lot too. So she's making these for tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Try not to eat them all. My girlfriend's mom bought this today for us to play tonight. I've never played this. Apples to apples is actually a really fun game. Version before, but it looks fun. Sour apples to apples. I love the other apples to apples game. So I don't know how we're not gonna love this one. And of course, Crystal's the one doing all the cleaning. So here's my jewelry for of course. today and I'm showing it to you on our couch. <laughs> I'm gonna wear a white bow, this really, 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 really pretty necklace. I got the bow and the necklace from Claire's. Looks up. These earrings, I think I got these from... See, now I'm not gonna lie, those earrings look kind of cute, don't they? But like, on Amber's big head? <laughs> um, Target. They are bows with pearls and this ring. Those musty pearls. I got from uh does she just get these out of like a fucking cracker jack box like what the fuck is this shit renaissance fair or renaissance festival a while ago so that's my jewelry for today that was probably made by like a small creator then so like i won't give too much shit for it but those rings are ugly i'm sorry just because like a real person actually made it and whatnot doesn't mean it's good <laughs> oh by the way guys so I don't know what bullshit I was on the other night when I was talking about those blood perfumes. Um, they're way more expensive for the larger sizes than I thought. I just paid $40 for a 10 milliliter travel size rollerball one. But to be honest with you, I think a rollerball would be the easiest way of applying this perfume oil. So, plus, but like the large one that's like this big, it's 180 bucks. I don't know where, what bullshit my mind said. Oh yeah, no, this is cheap. It's affordable. It's not. It's very expensive. I don't know. I think honestly, I'll just stick with the rollerball. I don't think I need like that much. 
I just love the scent, you guys. I love it so much. <laughs> She made that a lot shorter. Ew. If anyone was curious, this is what the f I hate how she sits there with her feet like tucked. Like she's just trying to look so small, girl. Furniture looks like without the blankets. <laughs> okay. We're like halfway through, guys. Almost there. Almost to the way in. So this is one of the things that I like to make. It's not healthy whatsoever. Girl, you don't make shit. Look, someone else is fucking doing it. Why do you say I like to make this? when literally someone else is doing it in the video. But it's a multi-grain scoop chip. Inside of it is a dollop of spicy ranch and on top of it is a combination pizza roll. Although that does look like her stupid fucking ring. And it looks- You put pizza rolls on bitch. This fucking heifer, oh my God. Pizza rolls on a Triscuit. This cow, Jesus fuck, dude. This is so annoying. Weird, but it tastes so, so good. Trust me on that one. Girl. And I'm kind of making it as like a random little snack for tonight. That's pretty. That's actually really cool. Not her snack. Her snack is a fucking fat ass's heaven. Talk, what the fuck is that, all that shit? Okay, Amber. So right now I'm just sitting downstairs after getting most of the food together and stuff like that for tonight. And now we're just waiting for people to arrive. And I kind of just thought, I don't know if I'm actually going to have this vlog up before I go to sleep because I'm sure um, the guests I don't care. will be here for, you know, past 12 a.m. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I guess maybe I'm not going to be getting much sleep because I do like to upload them before. Oh, it's, go it's going to take you so long, Amber. I bet it must take you hours like four or five hours to stitch all this bullshit together i go to sleep it's like a crazy ocd thing but <sighs> there she goes just not knowing what the fuck she's talking about i guess we'll see but no matter what this vlog is going up i'm not skipping a day even if it is a little late so i just kind of wanted to clarify that but we will see what happens <laughs> The fucking heavy breathing behind the camera, dude. Oh my god. Smoky. Shush. What? Find the apple. Interesting. That's a big block of frozen wine punch. Mm-hmm. Smart thinking. Give me the slot. Well, I tell you, it's hot standing on top of this damn dish hole. Are you filming that one? Yeah. Yeah, I need a couple. I want them cut in pads. And I got one jar, too. Aren't there some leftovers? Yeah, I got rid of them. Okay. There's only a couple in there, one, like four. Oh, there's the fun. God damn. More. Jeez. 
I don't want pieces that can't be eaten. Mm -hmm. That's probably actually probably a pretty good like little mix. Yeah. Amber, you don't be needing that. Yeah. Can you imagine Amber drunk? It'd be even more annoying. I mean, we, we've seen Amber drunk, so we know what it's like. And yeah, it's fucking annoying. A lot of food that Amber doesn't need. Guarantee you... Crystal's parents probably had to hide this shit when they bought it last night or whenever that last video was made. I guarantee you. Can't even see it, bitch. Also, you know I should be sitting on the floor a lot. Don't be jealous just because I have a beautiful girl to kiss on New Year's. Shut the fuck up. Ugh. Please, Amber. I don't want to see that shit. Hello, everybody. It is officially 2014, January 1st. So start that diet. And I cannot believe it. I'm more so like scared of this year because I have given myself a very hard resolution, like a New Year's resolution, and I will be talking to you guys about that tomorrow, but anyways. It's gonna be the same old bullshit it's always been. Um. I wanna lose weight. Happy New Year, and I hope you guys had a great, fantastic, night crystal stop touching the butt um girl why why you even have to go mentioning this shit great fantastic night with your friends your family just whoever you love and care for yourself even um yeah crystal's wishing she was by her fucking self right about now i bet bringing in the new year with people you care about is I feel like the most important thing, and I have my girlfriend. Crystal, what are you doing? <laughs> some people might like me or penguins. Yes, yeah, some people might like penguins. Me. She literally speaks to her like a little fucking cat, dude. Hey! New Year brings out a new side of Crystal. No, I'm right. Anyways, I had Crystal by my side like I do now and I appreciate it so much and I wouldn't want to be with anybody else or near anybody else <laughs> she can't say it directly to her she has to say it into the camera dude she's being silly and I wish I could show she's doing a strip tease no I'm joking okay sorry but anyways <laughs> Crystal I have to hurry I only have so much time <laughs> but um really you guys Thank you so much. You guys have made the end of my year great because you guys follow me and are subscribed and want to see my life and I appreciate it so much. So it was a great year because her subscribers want her. And not only am I grateful for my girlfriend, I'm grateful for you guys and I hope you guys have a great... It really don't seem a girl. 2014, this year is going to be ours and by ours i mean mine and crystals and your guys is of course because whatever resolutions you guys have i know you can do it and girl it ain't gonna be your shit yeah we'll talk about resolutions tomorrow but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed my video and if you aren't smiling smile bye Ew. this is the one i was waiting for you guys this is the one i'm really excited about Way in hello everybody um hey amber step on the scale <laughs> Um, this is probably the long-awaited, um, 
When? Yeah, it's been a while, girl. It's been a while. And how convenient that in the last week or so, when you've been real fucking going at it with the food, you're like, mm, I'm not going to do a weigh-in. And But I did weigh in today. It is January 1st, 2014. And I figured... <sighs> she went up. She went up. Remember, though, guys, she was not going to get above 370. I want this year to be my year. I will not be talking about any resolutions in this video. I'm going to make a separate resolution video. I mean, thank fuck, so I don't have to sit through that today. But <sighs> just pushing it on to later. <laughs> um, so be on the lookout for that. But this is just going to be my weigh in. Um, I will not tell you guys how much weight I gained from last time because I just want this to be kind of like starting fresh but I will be telling you guys how much weight I have lost in total because it girl <laughs> oh my god so she gained weight she gained weight and she's just well I'm just gonna say how much I lost total calling back to the 89 pounds instead of saying how much I gained dude same fucking bullshit. So what? She lost 89 pounds. So let's see how much she says. It'll be 89 minus whatever she says she lost. It did take a lot of hard work to do that. So I don't want that to be erased. So um, you can watch. Girl, you're erasing it yourself. My last weigh-in video, if you guys want to know how much weight I gained. It is a lot, I know. Um, But I do not remember what that was and i wish i did but i do not remember you are about 370. um i should have wrote it down and i don't feel like going back to watch that video so what a lazy bitch oh my god this is the one thing that she does all fucking day and like well i mean no she does other stupid shit. but like this is the one thing that she has to do in a day and she can't even be bothered let's just start with this um when I stepped on the scale today, I was expecting 375. For some reason, that number kept popping in my head. Um, she was 370 last time. Let's remember that, guys. It would have been a big gain, and it would have been understandable. But I stepped on the scale and saw 377.0, and... So in about a week, girl, you gained 7 pounds. Or maybe like a week and a half. Good fucking job. First reaction was, what? That can't be right. That's a No, that's very much right. Plot of weight there that I gained, so. Okay, so I don't have to do the math on it. She just came right out and said it, but she's just so dumb. I stepped on it a few other times, which I normally do, and it all said the same thing. And I, I definitely know how to gain some weight. <laughs> that's all I can say. Shocker. Shocker, the woman that's already almost 400 pounds. Oh, shocker. Um, it was sad to see, like, really sad. I, well, obviously, it wasn't sad to do to yourself because you do it with a smile on your face every fucking time, dude. I don't know. She's only sad once the physical, like, actual reminder is there, and then her vanity comes in and is like, I hate being fat. Oh. It's just sad, like, bleh. But I've been having this issue. Your entire life, you're right. I have this resolution. I'm not going to tell you guys on this because I want to make a whole other video for that. But I have a resolution and I also have a fear. My fear is extra skin and it is haunting me bad lately. Girl, it's either extra skin or less time here on this earth. I think the answer is pretty fucking simple. Because I feel like I really, really, truly can reach my goal this year. Or this goal I have in mind, not my overall goal, but um. Wouldn't it have been nice if she could have? Wouldn't it? Nope. But I have this fear of extra skin, and sometimes I think I would rather be big than have extra skin. Uh, it's, it's... <laughs> well, girl, you can also literally work out. 
there are ways to mediate the amount of extra skin that you have. It's really annoying, to be honest with you, because... But also, good hygiene goes into keeping up your skin and its elasticity, its health. Like, you need to properly wash yourself and take care of your skin as it is a vital organ. You need to take care of it. This fear is like in my heart. Like, it's all I can think about. It's like in my head, my heart. So this is just an excuse, y'all. This is just an excuse. And ironically enough, this, I think, has been the main excuse the entire time. Like, Amberlynn is vain. But I don't think she's so vain that, like, it's beyond her that she would rather just be fat than to have saggy anything. It kind of makes, I kind of feel it physical. Like, it's that big of a fear and I do not know what to do about Well, what's a bigger fear, girl? Extra skin or death? But, and... I feel like it's gonna sabotage me in the long run and I don't want that to happen. Um, I know there's surgeries, but guess what? I have no money, I have no in- Get a fucking job. Um, I have no job, I have no Get insurance. One. Get one. I don't have anything. Get it. And surgery, I have never had. It's terrifying thought. I just wish I could lose what- Dude, all these fucking excuses. All of these fucking excuses and 10 years later, look at where it's gotten her and not have extra skin that's just how i wish it is but it's not um i remember when i was down 89 pounds i already had loose skin like it was bad already i can't even imagine like just hopping in here um amberlynn is speaking through her vanity right now i think that extra skin is a badge of honor it shows that you have lived through something and you've conquered something and I don't think Amberlynn can comprehend that because she's just such a vain individual. She can only think of how she's going to look. How it would be if I kept losing and a part of me feels like I sabotaged myself subconsciously because of extra skin. Like it is the biggest. Now girl, it's because you're fat and you love to just keep stuffing your face. Doesn't have to do with anything about fear other than fear of having to actually try. It's a fear for me and this whole weight loss thing and <sighs> if you guys have any suggestions on what i should do to stop that fear from yeah grow the fuck up haunting me get your priorities straight dog okay get your fucking priorities in check are you scared of loose skin or are you scared of dying like every day please let me know because i literally it's like an ache in my heart <laughs> like it sounds that's just your fat chest beating down on it pathetic but it's true like it is an ache and my heart it is that big of a fear for me um but death from a heart attack or any other comorbidity comorbidity is that the right word um from your excessive fatness doesn't scare you okay that makes a lot of sense so i also wanted to tell you guys oh wait no you guys don't know my resolution yet hmm oh i'll also tell you guys so to get to my resolution now if you guys do the math you know my resolution um so to get to my resolution goal this year i need to lose 77.2 pounds i do not want to um what will that get you back to where you were before define how much weight that is right now because i will do that in my resolutions video so please 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 watch that when it goes up um but yeah so that's pretty much what i will be doing for my weigh-in videos is telling this video is just her fucking yapping dude oh my god you guys how much i weighed in at how much I lost, my total loss, and how- uh, You're not losing, okay? We've been steadily gaining literally since you started the channel. Which I have to go for my goal or my mini goal. Well, it's a kind of big goal, but <laughs> it's not my overall goal. Girl, 70 some odd pounds in a year really is not that much. It really isn't, if we're being honest. Tammy lost 100 oh. pounds in a week. Um, And like I said, I will- Every single time I step on the scale, no matter if it's a gain or a lose, 
a loose. That's strange that I said that. I don't even know what the hell I meant. Okay. It's not strange. You're dumb. We get it. If it's a gain or loss, I will send you guys a video and tell you 100% truth. But I feel like I can really do this this time. And I'm excited. Dude, it's just, it's kind of dark. I'm not going to lie. Kind of is. I don't have much sympathy for her, but it's sad that 10 years later and it's still the same bullshit that we hear every time and still no change. Also, before I forget, what I will be doing is my fitness pal. I will. <laughs> okay. My link or my thing down below so you can friend me if you want to, my fitness pal. Did anyone ever do that? I don't think so. <laughs> um, they give me a lot of calories to eat, like 2,300. I will not be eating 2,300 calories. Yeah, no, girl, you literally need like half that. Calories, I don't think I need to. I find that a little extreme, to be honest. I will be eating 1,800. For some people, that's a lot, but for me, it's not. And even 2,300 isn't a lot, but I feel like for a weight loss, I should not be eating 2,300 calories. So I'll be eating 1,800 calories. She just told on herself there, dude, 2,300 calories in a day is truly not a lot for her. Dog. I have not counted calories religiously in like two years, so I'm kind of nervous about how this is going to go. And I know we know how it's going to go, girl. Downhill <laughs> very quickly. For the first few days, I'm going to be feeling sick. My head's going to feel funky. My girlfriend's head is going to hurt. I know what's going to happen. This always happens. Well, why does she have to fucking do a calorie restriction as severe as yours? She's not nearly 400 fucking pounds. Because. After eating whatever we want for so long and then being like counting calories and not eating as much, we do feel kind of like, it's almost as if we feel the toxicness like coming out of us. I don't know. That's like. Dude, her fucking this we, 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 our weight loss, like shut the fuck up. Really weird way to describe it, but. Because you know what? Crystal has a lot less further to go than you do, girl. You have severely set yourself back. Even when she came to visit later on, I think in like the Destiny era or whatever, Crystal lost a lot of weight. And she looks like a quote unquote normal human being. We definitely feel it like physically when we start lowering our calories. Um. Well, I really don't know why Crystal needs to. She should just watch what she eats and not eat everything that you do because you're the fucking train wreck in this household also i want to add a little bit of exercising in this is what i will be doing i wanted to show you guys it is the biggest loser the workout cardio max i bet she used that dvd once maybe twice six why am i talking so weird that was embarrassing <laughs> It's a six-week um, program for maximum weight loss. And to be honest with you, I don't think I will be doing the program because I don't think I'm... I don't think my heart, for how much weight I'm holding, is ready for all that. So, um, what I will be doing is... Sorry, I was just looking at something. There, she seems to get, like, a joy out of being so fucked health wise that this is what she has to resort to it seems like she enjoys it you guys it really does is a warm-up that's five minutes there's a cardio level that's 20 minutes there's cardio level two that's 10 minutes there's a cardio level three that's 10 minutes and there's a cool down that's five minutes i know as much as i should i am not doing the warm-up or the cool down yet i'm just going to be doing the cardio level one for 20 minutes um I'm doing this today, which I am not looking forward to whatsoever, but um, I'll probably just, I don't know if I'm going to do it daily or if I'm going to do it every other day. I haven't yet decided, but um, the reason why I chose this is because I do love The Biggest Loser and I have another DVD by them that I used to do. And uh, So why not do that one? 
I want to do just that one cardio level one workout, you know, over and over, like, you know, once a day or once every other day. But I want to just do that as my exercise for right now because I want to see myself gradually get better, if that makes sense, by doing the same. Whoops, by Girl, you're going to see yourself gradually get better no matter which workout you do. So you might as well pick the most beneficial one. Doing the same thing over and over. I will be able to, um... She just loves to do the same shit over and over again. I mean, that's very clearly documented through 10 years on YouTube. See myself get better at that one exercise and knowing that I'm getting better at something. Why just see yourself get better at that one exercise when you could see yourself get better at multiple exercises? Because different exercises are for different things, Amberlynn. Is showing that I'm putting hard work into this and that I'm succeeding at this. So that is why I chose to do this. It's some pretty half-assed work, if we're being honest. I will let you guys know if I remember <laughs> how it goes for me. So if she remembers, she's not going to. Mm -hmm. or she's just going to magically forget. I'm kind of scared, to be honest. Of course you are. The biggest loser can be pretty rough. And I am pretty obese, so that's kind of scary. So, but I told dog Jillian Michaels is not going to jump out of the TV and s scream at you to move your fat ass. All right, like you have nothing to fucking worry about. Myself, if I need to pause it, if I need to take a break, then I need to take a break, and I'm gonna pause it. But I will finish through, and I can't. Can you just do it? Just do it. Stop fucking talking about it, dude, and just do it already. Oh my god. Wait to see myself get better at it. That is what yeah, is going to be going exciting to, for me. But, okay. My That's the sad part. It's like, we can be as hopeful as we want. She's not going to get any better. First weigh-in for uh, 2014 is quite long. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> but, um, if you guys are also doing a weight loss journey this year, please, please, please link it down in my comments and I will take a look and subscribe to you guys because I need all the motivation. I love hearing other people's stories and everything like that. So if you like this video, like it. And if you aren't subscribed, subscribe. And if you aren't smiling, smile. Bye. That was a lot of if you aren't. <laughs> Good lord, you guys. That was such a long fucking video. Already over an hour on my end. Definitely going to edit it down a lot for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I know I got real snappy in this one. Um, I'm just not in a good mood after... Whoops. Keep doing the hearts. After um, doing that reaction earlier to the season finale. It just really... I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, as much as I dislike Amber, I do not want to see what happened to Caleb happen to her. And I don't want her to come online blubbering on about how much of like an eye opener it is for her, like when Life by Jen passed. Don't fucking make this about yourself, Amber Lynn. But I hope it's a bit of a wake up call. I do. I hope it is. Caleb seems like a really sweet and genuine man. Amber doesn't. I just don't wish that for her. I don't. I wish that she would be able to actually get her shit under control, but 10 years of documented failures and just bullshit excuses. And we're going to watch through it all. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.